right, so what I'm going to do is show you how to group several items and then use a, a, a container to mask them. So I'm just going to make some ellipses and I'll make sure that they have a color. And then I'm going to just hold down the option key to make some duplicates. That'll help me do this really quickly. And then I'm going to color each one of the circles a different color. And then I'll create one more shape to act as the container or the mask of all of them. And that's on the front right now. But the first thing I need to do, uh, I'll zoom in just so we can really see what we're doing. Um, the first thing I need to do is back all, uh, I'm sorry, group all of the background elements. So select the selection tool and I'm going to go edit, cut, cut, to so cut the containing <laughs> object. And that's going to cut it and put it into the computer's memory or like the, uh, a pasteboard, if you will. And then I'm going to click and drag to select all these shapes and go object group. Now I'm going to go edit, paste Pace. in front. And now our containing object is in the front. I'm going to shift select the group, which is in the background. And then I'm going to go to object, clipping mask, make. And now that circle has become the container of all of the other circles. And I can still go in with the direct selection tool and select these objects and move them around if I want. And then I can even modify their colors. By using that direct selection tool. And then last but not least, if I want to stroke around this, I still have the, or the containing circle is still on the pasteboard. So I'll go edit, paste in front again, or just paste in front. But that's going to paste our container into the front. I'm going to switch that from a fill to a stroke. And I'm going to make our stroke just a little bit bigger. And the last step is to go object, path, outline, stroke. And that way our artwork can conform to what the printer asked us for. And this is a finished piece of artwork other than the printer also asked for everything to be grouped. So now I'll just click and drag to select everything object and group. Now everything is outlined, everything is grouped, and we have a, a perfect piece of art. Kind of cool, I made it.